I'm Sean Wilkins, an install and repair technician for Strata Networks. As an install and repair technician, I get to be one of the ones that come to your house and work on your internet. As an install and repair technicians, one of the biggest issues we find is maxing out your bandwidth. And that's what we get to talk to you about today. So what is bandwidth and why does it matter? Everything you do online, from checking email to streaming movies, involves sending and receiving data. Bandwidth is how fast you can send and receive that data. It's measured in megabits per second, and there's a different speed for sending and receiving data. You may hear Strata employees refer to your bandwidth service as a 10 meg plan or a 50 meg plan. That refers to the maximum transfer rate of data you can receive. Most online activities involve more receiving than sending. So that's the number everyone usually focuses on. But your upload bandwidth is important too. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's walk through an example of how 10 meg plan can quickly get used up. All your online activities use a certain amount of those 10 megabits and different types of activities use different amounts. Browsing Facebook might only use up to two megs per second, but let's say you're also watching Netflix while you browse Facebook. Netflix recommends five megabits per second for a high definition quality stream. Now you're using around 7 megs per second, with only 3 to spare. If someone starts playing an Xbox in the next room, that could easily use up the remaining 3 megs. On a 10 meg plan, just those 3 activities can max out your bandwidth. It's also worth noting that to stream a video in 4K, most platforms recommend at least 25 megabit connection. While Strata offers a 25 meg plan, that won't leave you any bandwidth for other online activities. So if you're looking for a, a great streaming experience on that new TV you got for Christmas, you'll want at least a 50 megabit connection. In our 10 meg example, what will happen when you max out your bandwidth is that you'll likely see the video quality go down. The video might also stop to buffer, which is when the video service is waiting for more, to down, more video to load through the available bandwidth. Now think about how many devices you typically have connected at once. You may have several phones, a TV, a gaming console, and a couple of tablets. There are probably also devices using your bandwidth that you're not aware of. Security and doorbell cameras, home assistants like Alexa, are usually consuming bandwidth in the background. Any device that is powered on and connected to your home Wi-Fi could be consuming bandwidth at any time. Most households in the basin have five to nine devices, and many have even more than that. The other aspect of bandwidth is the data you send. Anytime you want to access something online, you have to request for it. These requests don't typically take much bandwidth, and that's why your upload bandwidth is less than your download bandwidth. However, if you're trying to send a lot of information, like uploading a video to Facebook, for example, it can max up your upload extremely fast. That means that the small request sent by your other online activities can't get through. This can result in slow internet performance even if your download bandwidth isn't being maxed out. You're probably wondering what can be done about it. Well, the best and easiest way to solve the problem is to upgrade your speed. For example, going from a 10 meg plan to a 25 or 50 meg plan. So if you're like most of us, spending more time at home, relying on the internet for school, work, and entertainment, get in touch with us and get a free 90-day upgrade to the fastest possible speed in your location. Bandwidth does matter.